Hi, welcome back to my channel Skillset Go. So this is the tutorial of the most important library, Jack's Beak, which is used for converting XML to POSO and POSO to XML in Java. And you all know this is the most used library in any APIs to convert any XML response to Java class or Java class to XML to send response in API calls. So in this video, we will learn with a simple example how to convert XML to Java class POSO. So as you can see, these are the steps to convert XML to POSO. Let's say this is the sample XML. It has a root tag employee and it has inner elements like name and age. So these are the steps we need to follow to convert this XML to the POSO of employee class. So first step is to create a POSO related to this XML. Create a POSO or bind the schema and generate the classes. So in order to save this XML into the Java class, we need to have a similar schema type Java class. So we'll just create a simple Java class which is related to this employee. Let's create an employee class. It has a variables name and age. String name integer age. And we will have a getters getter setter methods. Just generate a source. Generate getter setter methods for setup all and generate. So we just now created an employee class related to this XML. But we need to specify the root element and the inner elements using the annotations. So we need to use, so employee is a root element, we need to use XML root element. So as you can see, this XML root element, Java X XML bind annotation. So before all this, you need to add a Java X library. So if you go to form XML, we will find all dependencies. Here I have included a dependency for JAXB. So this group ID is Java X XML bind. Artifact ID is Java X B API. And version, you can find any version and keep a dependency. If you are not using a Maven project, you can download a library and include in your project before developing this. So we need to specify this is the root element and we need to specify these are the normal elements. So get methods are usually used to convert XML string into variable. So we will specify XML element. So name is a XML element, but employee is a root element. And same way, get age. And we don't need to provide a name to the tag element because by default, it will take same name as a variable name. Here, here it is name, here it is age, and here it is employee. So let's go to the steps now. So create POSO or bind the schema, generate the classes. Just now we have created it. And create the JAX B context object. So how to create? Just JAX B context. And we can use new we can use new instance method and we can pass dot class of the employee class. Employee dot class. So that's it. We have created a JAXB context using employee class. And the next step is create the unmarshaller objects. So what is unmarshaller means if you are converting XML to POSO, we will call it as we will use unmarshaller for that. If you are converting POSO to XML, we will use marshaller. So in this case, we want unmarshaller. And we need to create unmarshaller object using a JAXB context. Let's create unmarshaller. And we need to use JAXB context to create unmarshaller. So that's it. We have created unmarshaller and we can use this unmarshaller to convert this XML to POSO directly. Just use unmarshaller what we have created and just call unmarshall. So as you can see, unmarshall will take different types of arguments. File, input source, input stream, node, reader, source, URL. But we have a string. So no one is taking a string. So we will create a new string reader and pass string to that. So it will take input stream. So we are going to create a string reader. And as you can see, we can pass string to it. Just pass XML. So this will return a POSO class with these values. Let's save it. 
this will return obviously employee so let's create a local variable which is employee so now we have completed the conversion from XML to POSO and in the final step we will just print the values and test whether we got a right values or not POSO dot get name POSO dot get age so we need to get a name as Ashok and age as 26, 26 in this output let's run this and test the results so we got an error unexpected element local it is employee and expected is employee so what is the difference is here the capital E is there here there is a small e let's change it and see result let's run it again so now as you can see we got the expected output Ashok and 26 as we are printing this so that's it these are the steps to convert simple XML to POSO first we have created a POSO related to this XML next we have created a context using that context we created unmarshaller and using that unmarshaller we are directly creating a POSO passing that XML and finally we tested the result so I hope you like this video and understood how to convert XML to POSO in the future tutorials we will see how to convert POSO to XML and we will also see a different annotations in this JAXD and and we will also see how to make uh, elements as compulsory or not compulsory like it is required or not required while converting to XML to POSO or POSO to XML so please subscribe my channel and keep watching my videos share to your friends thank you for watching